Shumai, I'm Adam and welcome to the garden. And today we're going to learn how to plant up some flower pots so that you can add some colour to your garden. There are three things that you need to get started. Some compost, a pot with drainage material and any bedding plants of your choice. So the first step is to find yourself a pot. Now naturally the larger the pot the more plants you'll need to fill the pot. Secondly then you need to ensure that you've got some drainage material in the bottom of the pot to ensure that the compost itself doesn't um, form a hard layer at the bottom of the pot not allowing the water to drain away. I'm using polystyrene here and the benefits of polystyrene is the pot itself is far lighter to carry around the garden but you can also use slate or broken terracotta pots as well. Now we need to add compost into the pot and using a peat free compost is ideal. When we're filling the pot itself let's ensure that we leave enough room for the roots of the plants themselves because obviously if we fill the pot up too much we won't have much room to plant the plants. Also as well a good tip is to remember to leave about an inch of a, um, a gap around the surface from the top to the soil so that when we water the plants themselves the water can trickle down through the pot rather than overflow over the edges. This brings us then to the most exciting part of the process, which is planting the bedding plants themselves. Now, today I'm going to be planting some saffinias, which are like a trailing petunia, a geranium plant and some French marigolds. Now, one good tip when we're planting up our pots is to find the largest plant out of them all and see where we're going to place that first. So I'm going to place the geranium in the centre of the pot because a bit of height in the centre will look good um, when it flowers. Now, gently tap the pot like this, easing the roots out carefully and as you can see, let the plant then fall into your hand like that. With your other hand then, create a small well or hole in the middle of the pot and place the geranium down gently. And as I've said, I'm going to plant some saffinias around the geranium now. So, same principle again, gently tease the plant out like this. Create a small hole and place the saffinia in next to the geranium. I'm only going to plant two, I think, in this pot because it's not a large pot and it's important to leave enough space for the plants to grow and develop into their full maturity because that's when you'll get the best colours out of the blossoms themselves. I'm also going to add some French marigolds in between the saffinias just for a differing colour within the pot and gently place them down like this. This then brings us on to our final step, which is to add the compost around the plant. Now you can use a trowel at this point, but I far rather get my hands into the compost itself and feel the soil between my fingers. Gently then spread the compost around the plants, trying not to damage any of the bottom leaves as you do so. And that's it then, it's as simple as that. You've planted up your first plant ready to uh, blossom during the summer months. This brings us to the last stage of it then, which is to give it a bit of water and to place it in the shade just for a few days as for the roots themselves to settle within the compost and not to stress the plant out too much in the daytime sun. So there we have it, we've planted up our summer pots ready to bloom over the next months and there's something really joyful about bright colours in all areas of the garden at this time of year. Why don't you try and plant a few pots around your garden as well and if you have the opportunity take a few pictures along your journey as well and send them to us, we really would like to see them. Tana Tonessa Hoi Lama